So right now we are standing down at the inner harbor of Victoria. We just finished the horse carriage ride and we got to feed Spot a care. Spot was the horse's name and he was nice. But they are doing a lot of construction so there were roads closed and so we got we didn't get to see everything which was kind of disappointing but um, we went through Ross Bay Cemetery. I or not no 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 we went through Beacon Hill Park and not Ross Hill Cemetery Ross Hill Ross Bay Cemetery. I wanna see that still. We're seeing a cruise ship take off right now and the float planes doing their thing. That that over there is so pretty. Um, and then behind me is the Capitol building, the Parliament building, and they do 40 minute free guided tours. So I think me and Austin might try to do that. Our, we only pay for parking through um, four and it's three now. So I don't know if we can go add parking. I think we can just go add parking if we want. Okay. Stay parked here, walk around. So I don't know, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. At some point we're gonna get fish and chips. And I got a recommendation from our horse carriage tour guide of the best poutine by far around. It's called La Belle Poutat, I think is what she said. It's a totem. And the parliament. I remember the significance of this building. Other than it's, it's just the old Empress. and it's a, it was a manor. Or wait, was it originally the Empress Hotel always maybe? I think so. Didn't your mom say that? It, she the, said it was the sign was original. I don't know. Yeah. It looks like a sign from the 20s or something. We're inside the Empress. Yeah, we're in the Empress Hotel and we found our magnet. It was $4, but it was $4.50 after tax. And that's Canadian, of course. And it's got the following building and the Empress and the Orcas and the Hop 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 Dog. Here's the Victoria Conference Center. It's kind of warm in here. It is warm. It's like a greenhouse. Look at this cool, like, mailbox mail shoot. It's obviously very old. Oh, there's a shoot up there from the other levels. Oh, here comes the elevator. Look at that. This place is definitely haunted. Is it, is it on the screen? state people can come through this entrance. I've ever been anywhere that the Queen's been before, but now I have. Yeah. And then there's a, an error that they made when they made this originally. So there is the Union Jack right there, and then there's the sun setting on top of it. And the British, it, their motto is uh, the sun doesn't set on the British Empire. And so they flipped it around on the air on the symbol. So now the sun is setting below the Union Jack. Okay, so we just finished the um, Parliament building tour and we had a tour guide named Olive. Wow, did you hear how many times I struggled on that sentence? Yeah. We had a tour guide named Olive and we liked her a lot. Um, 
But anyway, we would recommend that tour, right? Would that was you? really cool. Yeah. I didn't even realize how official this building was. <laughs> well, it's the Providence Provincial Capital. Yeah, it's crazy to think the they Queen's actually, been there. Yeah, the Queen's been there. Last time was in 2002. And it sounds like they don't expect that she'll, this Queen will ever be back. But, Maybe getting um, a little too old. Yeah, I don't think she travels as much or as far anymore. Or at all. I don't know. Um, but I'm sure the next queen or king or whoever will come. Um, but yeah, it was free. And it took about 35, 40 minutes. And you just kind of drop in. It's like every half hour. And um, I learned a lot. A lot. And yeah. you get to see the... Well, I'm sure you took a video. You get to see where they actually pass bills and things, right? Yep. Cool. Super cool. So now we're going to get the car. And I think probably time to find dinner. They're yeah, wanting I'm fish hungry. and chips, and I'm trying to find some poutine. <laughs> um, people here are nice. Yep. It's true, it's a true stereotype, but also it could just be that we're in a touristy place, and so yeah. the customer it. service is up. I don't know what it's actually. We'll find out when we go to Vancouver, right? If you, <laughs> Vancouver, though, I hear is not. Really? Not a, no, no, not, not that it's not nice people, but but that it's not as stereotypical, stereotypically Canadian. Oh, really? Because it's just a big city. Okay. And also, I don't know if we got this on video, but when we were on the carriage ride, the tour lady was saying that um, in 2017, Vancouver was the most expensive city to live. More expensive than New York. We're back in Beacon Hill Park and I'm making a friend. Hello. Yeah, she let me get pretty close. Like two feet away from her. Well, you're brave. There's probably people feed him. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so cute. I wanted to peck me. <laughs> I should have put him in more wine angle. Mm. We're getting only in the face when it comes up. <laughs> Before he leaves. I hope you enjoyed your videos. Smells so good in here. It's so romantic. If I lived here, I would take people on dates here all the time. <laughs> you made a face at me. <laughs> I would take you here on dates. Okay. <laughs> There's the moss lady. We found her. Chubster. Oh, you're welcome. What a show off. The camera right up to the camera. He's like, oh, you want video of me? Okay. <laughs> I'll give you a video. <laughs> uh -huh. The monkey tree. <laughs> I grabbed it way too hard. <laughs> yeah. Don't grab it. A little too big. Peacock showdown. Look at uh -oh. him go. There's no more Fritos, guys. They're fighting. Oh, look at him shaking that tail feather. We were just looking out the window and talking about how it's not a normal sight for us to see ocean and then mountains behind it. Out of the ocean, you just the ocean. 
We're in Ross Bay Cemetery right now and it's so pretty you can see the water out there. We're right by the ocean. Um, I want to go see this big this big one. Um, this cemetery is apparently Canada's oldest and biggest or something. Maybe British Columbia's. It's a big old one. And Emily Carr is buried here. And a bunch of other people that probably if we were more into history we would recognize their names. Probably. Um, generals and that kind of thing. We're looking to find the oldest one. This one has 1917, but huh. there's older. I know that. I like how this one tells the story of the person. This is the oldest we've found so far, 1885. Oh, this was her land. Hmm. And she was the first woman to own land. So that's an important... Oh, Ross! I didn't even read the name. This is Ross Bay Cemetery. Oh. Oh, that's this cool. Is her cemetery? Yeah. Well, it was her land. I'm glad that we found that one. It says Sir James Doug Douglas died in 1877. So that's now the oldest we've found. But look at this. You have to... There's a padlocked gate just to go into there. <laughs> I guess the family probably has the lock so they can go in. Probably. There's another one down there. There's an open... Or the grave keeper. Oh, yes. to go clean it out probably, yeah. So it looks like they didn't know his real birthday. Um, they just have his baptism day. just have his baptism day. But it looks like he struck gold, made his own town. He has a lot to do with the foundation of British Columbia. Yeah. It says on the last line, he died poor in wealth, but f forever rich in friends. So he's a big deal. That's yeah. Cool. Okay, we're headed to the place that the, the Tally Ho carriage tour lady suggested for Patine. It's called La Belle Patate. And um, it's interesting, look at the parking lot here. There's the restaurant. And then here's all this parking. And there's all these signs that say, no parking, violators will be towed. If it, you're parking for La Belle Petite, and then there's signs that say parking for, and they list all these places, but not this place. And it feels like they had like, like a fight or something. <laughs> I don't know why they specifically will not let you park, so we had to go move our car, but let's yeah. go find, let's go find some Petite. Never mind. We went in there and they had like a special, it was two, two small Petite for $9.75, which is a good price and everything. And they were really nice. But then we saw them getting ready, getting someone else's poutine ready, and the girl who was taking people's money and doing, you know, the cashier, grabbed the cheese out of the tub and put it on this person's poutine, like, with her bare hands. And just like, we mm, out corner, of- Like corner shop places like that, like they're gonna do that, because that's just how it is. Not always. Most of them Usually are. there's a cashier in the front and then there's other people in the back making your food and hopefully the other people in the back have washed their hands. I don't know. I just it always shocks me when food places are that bad, that unclean. So never mind, we have to go find something else for dinner. Okay, what do you think? I like cod. Like, oh. I mean, sorry. Oh, I was like, well then why did you get the more expensive thing? <laughs> so we ended up at a place called Redfish Blue Fish, and it's obviously right down here on the water. It's just a little, it's just a little, like, food truck kind of thing. And they didn't have, like, anything vegetarian. Um, so we got some deep fried pickles to share. Um, so how does it compare to Gordon Ramsay's in Las Vegas? I think this is better because it's halibut. They like halibut. The other one was cod. But otherwise it's the same? Like if th if this was cod, it would be the same? I think it would be the same. Nice. <laughs> That's gonna be so bad. No I got that on. I know. I got that on video. <laughs> 
Someone didn't say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the lights out on us. So there's this place called <laughs> Parks Fan Content? Fantan Alley. Fantan Alley, I guess. I love how temporary, but what's the deal about Fantan Alley? Well, look how skinny it is. And then there's 549 and a half. It's cool. 532 and a half. Dragon Alley. It's a cool dragon. We went to Dairy Queen because oh, yeah. we needed ice cream, and um, we have this thing, th this phenomenon that happens to Austin and I, where when we go to Dairy Queen and get blizzards, his blizzard is always full or over full, and my blizzard is always like an inch below <laughs> or like, you know, not full, and it happened even in Canada. So we got this flight of three minis. That's his, full to the top. Here's mine, not touching the top. I had to tell you about what we found on the menu. So for one, they have an O. Henry blizzard, mm -hmm. and then they also have um, something that we ordered, which is the drumstick arrow caramel blizzard. And so arrow is a candy bar that we we saw in the store here, so it must be a Canadian thing. And then um, also for sides, you can get poutine. Yeah, protein is a side here right. at Dairy Queen. And then they also had um, some of their other regular blizzards are a Smarties blizzard. I, they have they uh -huh. like Smarties here. And a Score blizzard, like that candy. They We have that in America, but it's not very common. Yeah, I know. I never see anybody buy it or eat it, but it's S-K-O-R. I don't really know what it is. And then they also have a Turtles I think it's blizzard. toffee. It's toffee? I think Score Ooh, I like toffee. toffee. Well, I would like that, but yeah. So that was interesting finding poutine in Dairy Queen. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello. Uh, what is that? I don't know. We are at Ogden Ogden Point Breakwater. You are really bouncing that camera around. It's gonna be like probably because <laughs> it's dark. Especially because it's dark, so it can't stabilize yeah. itself. Um, and it, this is just like a jetty that we can walk out on, and it's really pretty. We made it out here. I can't even end. see you. I can do the spooky light again. <laughs> Looks like you're a ghost hunter. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Shh. <laughs> Get out the, what are those things that they have? I can't do the sound, you know? The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, whatever. We made it to the lighthouse at the end. It's like 800 meters out here. I don't know oh, if wow. you can see it. There it is. <laughs> you can light up the whole lighthouse. That's all the lighthouse we need. Yep. <laughs> we went all the way out here, which is 800 meters, which converted to... Feet. What was it? It was 2,640 feet. Yeah. So double it. It's almost a mile. So it's half a mile. Yeah. Right? Because a mile is 5,280 feet, right? I don't remember how many feet is a mile. I don't know why 5,280 sounds right to me. It's very close. So yeah, <coughs> going out here and back is a mile of walking. Nice. Yeah. So I don't know why, but walking at night in like really nice weather like this, um, with lights like this, it just makes me feel like we're in Disney World. Oh yeah. I thought I was gonna. Say, I thought you were gonna say it makes you feel romantic. It does. <laughs> you can't even see it in the camera. Ugh. It's just a totem pole right there. 